Hey everybody, I'm Meds, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Tooie! In the last episode, we did some stuff around Grunty Industries, and then we unlocked this door through the electromagnet chamber in the aircon. Uh, I forget what the last word on that sign was. Anyway, uh, we got this door right here, but more interestingly, we have this door over here that w looks like we're gonna have to press a switch for, but I don't think we can get across that anyway, so... Might as well just see what's in the repair depot. Oh, here's another spinny thing. Well, uh... Ooh, a Cheeto page is across that. Can I get? I want. No, no, I want! I want! No! Okay. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. What on earth is that? I think it looks like an enormous toilet cleaner. Obviously. I'd clean my toilets with that, of course. Well, he doesn't seem to be very mobile. See how the poor thing struggles to get in here? This shouldn't be too much trouble, then. Wow. That thing is really working to get here. Welder! Visually impaired welding torch! Ahem. I believe it states quite clearly in the workers' guidelines that bears are not to be let into the building. How was I supposed to know that? So? Well, you're a bear, aren't you? Uh, no? No! Oh, I must remember to wear my glasses. Well, I'm out here now, so I might as well go to work on you. Wait, wait, no, I'm not a bear! What? No! Oh my god, this is Welder! Arguably the most difficult boss in this game. Time to turn up the dial, I think. I think that's what he said. Anyway, pretty much what he does right now is he just shoots stuff at you. Oh, and then he becomes a vacuum cleaner instead of a welding torch. And then what you gotta do is shoot a fire or grenade egg into his face, and then... Please refrain from doing that! I'm full of flammable gas! How about a few nuts and bolts? How oh, are you referencing a game that you don't even know that you're gonna come up with yet? One that's supposedly terrible that I really want to play because I want to experience it for myself? I don't know, I'm weird like that. If a game is bad, I really want to play it just so I can see for myself how bad it is. Anyway, the last one should always get you a honeycomb piece. And then normally try to suck you in again and just throw another egg in there. Perhaps if I used my weight a little more. Uh, I... Oh my god, that could... Uh, Don't make me come after you. This guy, this guy is not nearly as immobile as he made himself out to be. This is unfair. You misportrayed yourself, sir. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Where did he go? Oh, no! Okay. And then he should try to suck me up again. But that's not gonna happen. I ain't having none of that. This isn't going as planned. Where's my emergency switch located? That's bitter. Now let's see how nimble you are. This is where the fight starts to get difficult because now he's shooting his little fireballs at you and the creases in the tiles are now electrified. Now, at first this doesn't seem too bad, but it gets really bad whenever he starts trying to suck you up because he'll, like, he'll, it's almost impossible to not get hit by that. Anyway, we've, oh, uh, the, We've only got two more hits left on Welder. He shoots out a couple more nuts and bolts. Uh, I forget what these things are called. I actually looked it up and forgot because that was way too long ago. Oh my gosh, he's trying to suck me up again. It'd be wise not to get sucked up because that does some damage. All right, now just gotta run away from Mr. Shadow Man that's on the ground. Okay, he landed. Now he's running after me. Please stop it. Ow! I forgot that the corners of the walls are electrocuted. No, 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 run away. He's gonna try and suck me up right now, right? Oh no, he's gonna fall into the middle. And then try to suck me up. Right there. Come on. No. No. I need to be closer. No, that's not what I meant to do! No, 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 no! <laughs> well, that wasn't good. Did that hurt me? Because it didn't show I got hurt. 
hurt. It made the sound, though. Ow! Oh, God, I'm about to die. I am about to die. I would like to not die because that is... That means I would be living, which I quite enjoy. Um, where are we? Or where is he, I should say. Okay, so apparently you have to be on this block. I'd recommend getting as far away as possible. Then... That should be it! There we go! Oh well, looks like my welding days are over. Yeah, I'd say so. Doesn't pretty pretty hard to weld like that. Oh, ooh, what's that doing? Oh God, what? Uh, I hope that doesn't do anything too bad. Is this gonna be Metroid now? Do I have a time limit to escape? Because I don't like time limits. Oh, hey, it opened that door. Oh, and it's slowing down the fan. So that's what that was connected to. That really long pole was just a really long pole to a fan for some reason. Oh, wait, he's not dead. That's not fair. Ugh. I appear to be quite badly injured. That's too bad. Now, where's our prize? <sighs> I guess I can let you have this. Oh, uh, thank you. But I was kind of hoping for a jiggy. Is that all we get? You gotta be kidding! You may use it to get back out. I stashed my jiggy behind the giant fan for safekeeping. But there's nothing to stop you from reaching it now. No, when will I ever learn to keep my big mouth shut? I don't know, that'd probably be good for at least 95% of the characters in this game. Alright, just grab these honeycombs because... I would not like to die on this. Because, yay, welder's done! I was actually kind of worried for that. Although I probably shouldn't have been. But, I don't know, that boss is normally, at least to me, is the most difficult boss in the game. And that's one of the reasons why I always thought this was the last level. Because, like I said, I, my friend uh, cheated for me, and I just played through the game. And I just never cared to know the chronology. Anyway, there's a Cheeto page. But the reason he's so difficult is because you have such limited space to move in, which I'm sure you saw. And the floor is very electrified and not fun. So, it's just not a fun time. Well, did I see something up there? Oh, it was a window that I can't do anything with, I'm guessing. Oh, hello, Mr. Jiggy! There we go. Now we have 52 jiggies. And I think that'll about do it for everything I wanted to do in Grunty Industries. Uh, what's this? Um. Don't do a star. I can't do anything here, I'm guessing. I know exactly what I have to do there, but I can't do it. Oh, I bet that's where you get the jiggy that I was thinking, of, like, that I didn't know how to get back in the, 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 the other place where the, it had that same kind of stuff, and whenever you touched it, you went, wee all the way back to where you jumped so you can cheat, and it was under there? I think it's down there, or back there. Anyway, um, I think I'm done in Witchy World for right now. Like I'm pretty sure I just said. So, how many G's did I end up getting here? Seven out of ten! Oh my gosh, that makes me feel so good. I only expected to get four or so. But I'm, that just makes me really happy now. Oh. Well, let's go see Jiggy Wiggy and try to unlock our next world. And I cannot stress this enough. I'm very sorry for having so few videos ready. At least solo videos. Actually, little known fact that I'm pretty sure I, we haven't even said yet. I pretty much took over the role as main editor for Budamet, so... I've had... I've been trying to get a lot of content out, but we don't have too much content in reserve, so I don't want to release it all at once and then have nothing. So 
So I've been kind of staggered, trying to stagger uh, its my uploading of that. Anyway, we got Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 7. All right, here we have it goes here, I'm guessing. Then this one would have to go right there. Now this one, take a guess. Oh, yes. Thank you. Now, uh, where does this go? Right here? Yeah, that's where it is. And then this, uh, can't comprehend. Is this it? Yeah. Okay, doing good, doing good. We got this one right here. Oh, wait, no. I, that was stupid. I knew that wasn't it right as I pressed the button. So got 60 seconds left. Not too bad. Jiggy Wiggy challenges are never very difficult, really. I mean, I could see whenever I was a kid, I, they were definitely definitely more difficult, so I could see how they could be difficult, but now that I'm older, I just don't have any problem with them anymore, I guess. You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 7, so now the Great One will show you the way. Power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy. Yes, I am. Thank you for noticing. Anyway, uh... Because, uh, we've unlocked every single one of the, uh, the, 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 the things, the silo locations, the overworld locations, and actually, while I'm here and remembering this, I might as well go down here, down to Heggy's Egg place, whatever it's called. Egg shed. Okay. And now, since we have now learned the ability hatch, we can come up here to this egg, jump on top of it, jump on top. There we go. And then use hatch and boom! Clark, special Heggy o Egg Award Jinjo is multiplayer character. Clark, who is Jinjo? Come on, it's been two games, Heggy. I mean, I guess you weren't there for the first game, but I I got, like, how many of them? How, how many Jinjos do I have? Does it say? It doesn't say. Well, I got a lot of them. And you should have noticed, although I guess you are in this egg. For eternity. So, I guess I really wouldn't care about the outside world either. So, let's go ahead and head up to Clifftop, where the next world is. It's gonna feel so good to get a a new a start of a new world because it's been so long. So I think that'll be it for this episode. So next time on Let's Play Banjo Tooie, we will emerge through this new world. And oh no, I didn't want to talk to Jiggy Wiggy. And uh, the epic intro outro is ruined anyway. So whatever. Bye. <laughs>